class of 2018, please rise. Hain City High cheered on a pint-sized student in graduation this year. Two-year-old Abel joining his mom, Maria Hernandez. Abel's been a part of Haines City's on-campus child care program since his infancy. He woke up with me every morning. A baby of three months shouldn't be having to come to school and waking up early in the morning. And I feel it's, it's a big thing for him too, you know? Open the door. He came to school every day with me and had to go through everything, just like me, tired and frustrated every day. There was days that I was crying in the parking lot. I was crying in the parking lot, wondering like, should I just be done with this? Like, should I just leave, go to work, and I'll just go back to school? And just seeing him, like, looking at my face, I'm like, why would I leave school and then come back when I can just finish right now? Oh, Abel's been with us since he was a little baby. A little baby. And he's now in our two-year-old classroom. <laughs> and he is a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Again and again and again. Again, again, again. Ready, set, go. The school's free child care program offered Maria a spark of hope with on campus services putting her education within reach. Without it, I was already living by myself, so that was another big thing. I was wondering how expensive was the baby? How hard was it? Would I have to get another job? Um, would I have to leave school? Um, my husband, he's in college, and he had two jobs already, so I was wondering how we were gonna tumble having a baby, you know, if we would have time for the baby or anything. Hey, Mom. I love you more. He'll say, no, me more, me more. I'm trying to give my son a better life. Most moms don't make it through high school even, and it's something that statistics say all the time, saying that once you have a child, you leave school. I didn't want to be that. I didn't want to another statistic. Well, Maria's amazing. This is my third year here, so I've known her for three years. Now to see her as a senior, uh, what she's accomplished is just amazing. And her dedication to be here every day, her commitment to bring her son to Baby Hornet Care, and to come see him at lunch, pick him up after school. Like, her son is truly a student here. They try to teach him the basics, colors, letters. He's very smart. Did you, um, did he start to walk in this daycare? Yeah. Did he? Did he? Yeah. He, he came here at three months and exactly at when he started walking. And I stood there and just watching him and he grew up here. Basically this is like his house because he's been here all his life, every day, every day. It does help us to build their parenting skills because they're young. So, um, we get an opportunity to be a part of that and helping them as the child grows. There may be questions that they may have or they may need advice, but that does help us um, to be able to assist them as well. The value of having the teen parent program is they understand the importance of graduating high school and they instill in their own children the importance of graduating high school because mom did it so I can make sure or instill in my baby that I, you can do it as well. Not every girl fits a traditional school setting. Not every girl fits a location here at one of our centers, like Travis Technical College. Um, we've had girls to go into our Fresh Start program. We've had girls to go into our Acceleration Academy. And I believe because Polk County has so many options for these girls to be successful, it is their only option. She'll say it's hard, you know, to, to raise a son on her own, to have not only one job, but two jobs, and to get her homework done, and to come to school, and to go through testing, and meet graduation requirements. There's so many things, but every time she said she felt like she couldn't do it, all she had to do was look at her son, and that was inspiration enough that I gotta get that diploma, and I gotta get this done. You know, the same faces you see every day, they become like family to you. Like, even if not my blood, but they're, they become your family. They're honestly, they're, they're taking care of my son, you know? They're taking that responsibility, you know, they give me the opportunity to come to school and I really thank them every day about it. For more information about the Teen Parent Program and to discover ways the Polk County Public School is putting students first, visit our website at polk-fl.net and keyword search Teen Parents.